Since 1963, ATAS International has been a leading manufacturer of sustainable building envelope technology. In this video, we'll cover the installation details for a square or rectangular penetration in a Dutch seam roof. Start by installing Atta Shield at the bottom of the penetration and extend to the eave. Extend the Atta Shield a minimum of 24 inches beyond the opening. Then fold the sides of the Atta Shield up onto the penetration. Install Atta Shield at the sides of the penetration, overlapping on top of the bottom section of Atta Shield. Fold the sides of the Atta Shield up onto the penetration. Install an additional section of Atta Shield at the top of the penetration, again overlapping the pieces below. Fold the sides of the Atta Shield up onto the penetration. Next, install Atta Guard underlayment on the remainder of the roof deck. Install the Dutch seam roof panels up to and around the penetration. Field cut and turn up a vertical leg of the panels at the sides of the penetration. Field fabricate the flashing pan as shown. When installing the flashing pan, apply butyl caulk tape or sealant between the pan and the roof panels. Field notch and bend your Z closures to fit around the penetration. Install Z closures on the roof panels and flashing pan with butyl sealant tape and appropriate fasteners around the perimeter of the penetration. To ensure proper water diversion, the finished curb should feature a 4-inch minimum drainage plane on each side. Be sure to create drainage diversion channels at the top of the penetration as shown. Field fabricate the lower headwall type trim. Install the trim on Z closures and secure it with appropriate fasteners to the penetration. Field fabricate your sidewall trims. Install them on Z closures and secure with appropriate fasteners to the penetration. Ensure that your sidewall flashing extends beyond the penetration opening downslope as shown. Fold over the vertical legs of the sidewall trims to create color on the visible sides of the trim. Field fabricate your upper flashing trim, making sure to extend the vertical upturned leg beyond the opening of the skylight. Fold over the vertical leg to ensure color is visible on both sides of the trim. Install your joggle cleat to the upper flashing pan using butyl sealant tape and securing it with appropriate fastener. The joggle cleat must be located a minimum of 4 inches downslope from the end of the flashing pan as shown. Be sure to include a minimum of 12 inches from the upper flashing trim to the joggle cleat to allow for proper water diversion. Apply a continuous bead of clear sealant to all intersections and around the entire perimeter of the flashing trims to completely seal the unit. Install painted pop rivets securing the lower sidewall, side sidewall, and upper flashing trims to the Z closures. We recommend 8 inches on center maximum. Field trim and bend the roof panels onto the joggle cleat. Install panel end caps and pop rivet into place. Lastly, Continue with the installation of your roof panels. Be sure to visit ATAS.com to view our unmatched product selection.